Then she says, what? I'm so shocked right now. I will never support such an unprofessional company. Lashify HQ, take note. Everyone does want to look like a drag queen. They'll be our best customer, but not now. Burn that bridge. Business graveyard, here comes Lashify. And you know, I really hate making two videos about the same person within succession of one another. But there has actually been some real drama that has popped off with Manny MUA and this indie company called Lashify. And you guys, it is hot. So if you want to talk about it, stay tuned to this video. So as you guys may be aware, I did make a video about Manny MUA yesterday and his palette possibly being leaked by his brother on Instagram. And I was like, well, I don't think uh, there should be any really big things coming up with Manny because Manny's not really into drama. <laughs> but girl, Manny is enthralled with some drama today at this point in time with Lashify. Now, I had never in my life heard of Lashify. I know that some of you guys maybe possibly have. I checked out their Instagram and they have like 14,000 followers. Might I add now that Lashify has made their profile on Instagram private after this. There have been so many beauty gurus reaching back out to Manny over this and it has went completely crazy. I laid down last night, I was in the bed and I was watching this whole thing unfold. I seen Sam here for the tea tweeting about it and Manny I think tweeted back to her and like literally I caught the tail end of it. I tried to screen record some of it However, this janky ass iPhone X really <laughs> tried me and it recorded like 30 seconds of the audio. But basically, this woman that is the owner and I think the CEO of Lashify, really, really girl, she went over, above, and beyond what I ever thought was possible. So, what happened was, yesterday Manny uploaded this video, I think it's the most expensive eyelash in the world, where he did this tutorial, like a beginner's guide, uh, somewhat like first impression video of this Lashify product, which off gate, I'm just gonna say, who in their right mind is paying $125 for some fake falsy eyelashes when they could literally go get their eyelashes done for like 50 or 60 bucks. I know my boyfriend's mom, she goes and she gets lash extensions like the ones that last like a month or something and she pays like 50 or 60 dollars and she doesn't have to do any of the work herself at all period point blank like i'm the type of person if i can have someone do something for me that is going to help me aesthetically like get my eyebrows waxed like what i'm gonna do today and get my hair cut i'm gonna pay somebody that actually knows what they're doing to do this now Penny posted this video and he did follow the direction somewhat like he did follow him for the most part i know that a lot of people are saying Mama, Manny, you didn't follow the directions your eyebrows had mascara on them girl bye who cares like okay at the end of the day if you think about it manny did follow the directions a little bit like a little bit, he, he, he failed just a little bit in my opinion, but was it enough to really make that big of a difference? I don't know about mascara like that. Do you guys think that the glue would not adhere to the mascara? Because that is apparently what this woman was getting at. She tweeted, no, she didn't even tweet it, Manny. She posted something on her Instagram story and let's just get right into it. I'm gonna read some of the stuff and I'm gonna give my feedback on it. So let's go. So, I think the woman's name is Sahara that owns uh, Lashify or whatever. She apparently watched Manny's video and got her panties all up in a bind, honey. I'm talking about like wedged up into her ass crack to the point where she could not walk over this. And she said, thanks for the entertainment, Manny. Now, can you please follow the directions, watch a tutorial or two, and apply Lashify without a full face of makeup or just like you would lash extension. So, can you give a proper review of our product? Okay, first of all, first of all, I don't know very many women, and especially with the tutorials that I have watched here on YouTube, with all of these beauty gurus, they always put their lashes on last. Why is that a thing? I don't know, but apparently that is actually how most people do it. But apparently she's saying that you're not supposed to do this with a full face of makeup. How makeup would actually impact you applying these lashes, I don't know. Unless it had something to do with like, the eyeshadow or something. 
I really don't understand why that would be a big deal. So, can you guys let me know in the comments down below, is that like a fail to do? Are you supposed to put your lashes on last or first or whatever? But, I, I, I don't know. She then goes on and she says, not everyone wants to look like a drag queen. And this is Lashify.com. So, this right here is really, really where it pissed a lot of people off. And I can totally understand why. Because this is almost like she's making it seem like men in makeup or men in general want... If they wear makeup, they want to look like a drag queen. Now, most drag queens, they do sickening sickening makeup and they have very very sickening eyelashes and for her to say this it's almost like girl are you coming for the gay community and i know that when she was on her insta story live or whatever she was like no like my friend is uh gay or whatever and i seen the whole story i was not able to capture it like i said my phone played me and she had what seemed like this gay guy i could be wrong is he muscular, masculine build? No, but he could be straight. I could be wrong. Sitting there defending him, well, her, in this situation. Well, he don't have to like the product, but he didn't have to give a bad review and does it. Girl, girl, why are you going to try to make what you said right by using somebody that's gay? Like, no, that is not how this works. That is not how this works. So, that was strike one for me. Well, actually, it was strike two because she came from Manny. You guys know that I love Manny. Manny is bae. Manny is before anyone else here on YouTube. <sighs> Got a great ass, don't he? So, let's see here. Then, other beauty influencers started tweeting back to Manny because he posted this and said, I don't think the brand liked my video today. And Alyssa Ashley chimed in. She was like, oh my God, what kind of brand reacts this way? Sad face. And I was like, wow. It really takes a lot for Alyssa to get involved in something like this. And then Raw Beauty Christy tweeted back and said, bro, she is live right now on Instagram calling Manny fans fucking idiots. What? Now, it's one thing to insult one person, but it is another thing to insult their following. Manny has so many followers he has like four million and a half subscribers here on youtube he has like four million followers on instagram and like a million followers on twitter i heard someone even say that she was saying that manny's followers are broken they couldn't afford her products and that something to the effect of they're idiots they can't afford the products there was something else there was something else oh she was like well if you're she said something well you're not buying my brand you're not buying my brand like being like really discriminatory in a way to people that were in my opinion she was being discriminatory she may not have been but she was like almost talking down to possible clients possible customers of her brand you guys, like, that is, like, a PR no-no. Coming from someone that has a background in PR with corporate relations and things like that, that is something you do not do. You do not come after your customers because that's the thing where you cannot come back from. Like, you cannot come back from coming for a customer. Like, and I know that this woman said that she's put, like, two or three years of her life into this and she's, like, found the science behind perfect eyelashes. You guys, I did not know that there was, like, an eyelash community. I went on this Instagram post and there were people replying back to it. I wish I had a screenshot of it now. And they were like, well, yeah, I've been in the eyelash community and this is actually a great product. And they were, like, defending her. Like, there's an eyelash community. Like, there's sub-communities of beauty community. Uh... Ugh. There's sub communities of the beauty community now. Is there like an eyeshadow community? Are there people that's just like straight up into eyeshadow? I don't know. Manny replied back to Raw Beauty Christie and said, That one right there is messy. Messy. <laughs> I was dying. So let's see here. Jay Kissa chimed in and she said, What? That is so tacky. <laughs> <laughs> and the gift that she used. <laughs> like, I know you probably can't see it. And I do not have time to edit all this stuff in, unfortunately. Because I am actually going to get my eyebrows waxed and my hair done. Maybe I'll get some lash extensions. <laughs> and then Jordan Hans chimed in. And she has, like, uh, the uh face. Like, what is going on? 
And then this one right here is what tripped me out the most. Listen to this. Kristen Leanne says, they should have reached out personally and thank Manny for all the eyes on their garbage. And <laughs> then kindly let him know how it's meant, meant, Manny, meant to be used. Chance to save that relationship. What morons. Then she says, what? I'm so shocked right now. I will never support such an unprofessional company. Lashify HQ, take note. Everyone does want to look like a drag queen. They'll be our best customer, but not now. Burn that bridge. Business graveyard. Here comes Lashify. And I was just like, damn. Like, these people are really coming for it. Like, if there was any opportunity at all for Lashify to ever work with any of these beauty influencers, it's gone. It's, like, completely shot and gone. Like, nobody is going to want to work with this company. And, like, literally these days, beauty, beauty, the beauty community has so much influence. They have so much influence. I'm really waiting. Like, you know it's going to happen. There's going to be another beauty guru that is going to buy this product and they're going to review it and they're going to be like completely 150 cent, 50 cent, I was thinking of the rapper, 150% like brutally honest with this product review and they are gonna let this girl have it they're never gonna get a good review out of anyone they're gonna have to really start at the bottom now like with influencers that maybe have less than 50,000 subscribers to get any kind of clout now this is like another star crush minerals incident 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 and like i am just floored at how these companies like this are actually doing this who in the fuck goes on Instagram Live and shames the following of someone that reviewed their product. Who does that? I just don't get it. Daniel Prada said, this seems really unprofessional from a brand. Yikes. You guys, I, I just, I'm at a loss for this. I, if someone could please tell me down below where they do that at, I would love it. I know that Tawny made a video, Tawny Michelle, I watched it, it was good. T-Spill made a video about this. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be other channels that are going to be making videos about this. I know Sam, here for the tea, was recording this, so you know she's going to come with all the receipts. And it's just going to be so crazy. I, I'm really... At, the, at this point in time with the beauty community, I think that people are just really trying to cause drama to gain traction. And I, I just don't understand it. Negative attention is not ever going to surpass positive attention. And this brand is never, ever going to get a good review now. It's just... Like they said, they might as well just put this shit in the graveyard. Like, I feel terrible that this woman has put a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of effort into this product, but people are not going to buy it. Like, she's still going to have people that are going to buy it, but they're not going to be coming from the beauty gurus, and they're not going to be coming from such a wide-reached audience of people. I do want to make one point clear here. This woman tried to say that this was humor and this that she was trying to be funny with things like this. And I know that there was something along the lines, I don't know that much about lashes, but there was something about black lashes or like lash glue or something. And she said her tagline was, once you go black, you never go back. Girl, you are really crossing a line with that one. As if it was not enough with Manny and the thing with you saying that about drag queens, you do not want to make this a racial issue. You do not want to make this a racial thing. I'm telling you, it will not end well. Like, the company is probably going to be trashed now for the next couple of months. Just leave it alone. I say, make your Instagram private for a little bit. Issue an apology. I know she did issue some kind of apology. I think I may have it here. Let me take a look. But I'm just, like, I'm gassed at this. I will never understand why this woman done this i don't have the apology i'll try to link it if i can find it down below in the description box of this video but you guys please let me know what you think of this down below is lashify over is lashify finished before they even got to get into the race before they even really got to get their product out there i know that i think it launched late 2017 and i know you have to buy all this extra shit you have to buy this kit and then i think they like ship you lashes like 
in intervals or some shit, but I don't know. Please give me your feedback down below. That is what I'm here for. That is what I love so, so much. But you guys, I hope you have a great Friday. I'm going to go get ready and I'm going to go get my eyebrows waxed and I'm going to get this awful hair look. Hair look. Awful haircut because it looks awful. How many times can I say awful? Can somebody make a compilation video of me saying awful? Awful, awful, awful. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on my next video. Bye.